No. Okay. Now, this is a bit tricky, and I'll tell you how it becomes tricky. It is splitting the middle term only. So if I have to find the product, the product would be the product. I will compare this with a x square plus b x plus c. Now my product. If I just look at the numbers, the coefficient, my product should be four into nine is equal to thirty six. Mr. Sartha, are we clear? Yes. The sum of the two numbers that I am looking for, their sum is twelve. Mr. Sartha, are we clear till here? Yes. Sir. Now, Sartha, there are two ways in which you can find the two numbers that you are looking for. Now, one of the reason that we need to do lot of practice about these kind of questions is that finding the two numbers becomes difficult. Now, just select the thirty-six. 36 and start finding the factors of 36 like this so if 1 is one of the factor the other would be 36 if 2 is a one factor the other would be 18 if 3 is one factor the other would be 12 if 4 is the one factor the other factor would be 9 if 6 is one of the factor the other factor would be 6 7 8 9 and 9 and 4 are selected so these are our these are the 1 2 3 4 5 pairs which might satisfy this condition mr sarthak have you understood what i have said yes sir so this is one of the way in which you can find the two numbers so for example now if i want to check so the product of the two numbers should be 36 so in this case 1 into 36 is 36 so the first condition is satisfied but does it satisfy the second condition is the sum of these two numbers 12 mr sarthak mr sarthak have you understood the logic yes is the sum of 1 and 36 equal to 12 no sir so the this pair is out can the sum of these two numbers be 12 mr sarthak no sir can 3 plus 12 be equal to 12 no sir so the only pair which satisfies both the condition the conditions are that the product of 6 into 6 is 36 that is satisfied sum of the two numbers 6 plus 6 is 12 again this is satisfied Mr. Sardha, can you doubt till here? No, sir. So the two numbers would be the two numbers would be this is how the middle term can be split. Mr. Sardha, have you understood this trick? Yes, sir. Now this is one of the trick. Now there is another trick. See. you can choose any of these two both are okay and i will you know use the same trick when i am solving uh, part h and i also so that you understand how this trick works so the second trick is that you always take the product 36 and you do a prime factorization of this so 2 18 Two nineteen, three three one, and three one zero. Mr. Sarthak, have you understood what I have done? Yes, sir. Now I have done prime factorization. Now using these numbers, using these five numbers, two two three three one, I will try to make two numbers whose product is thirty six and whose sum is twelve. Mr. Sarthak, have you understood? Yes. So now, because I know the answer already, I know that three into two is six, and three into two is six. Have you understood what I have done? Yes. Now you can use either of these two methods. Uh, method one makes more sense. 
बट यू आर फ्री टू चूज एनी ऑफ द मैथड दैट यू लाइक मिस्टर सार्थक आर वी क्लियर टेलर सो वंस वी हैव डन दिस देन आई हैव टू फाइंड द कॉमन फैक्टर फ्रॉम दिस एंड अ कॉमन फैक्टर फ्रॉम दिस एनी डाउट मिस्टर सार्थक नो सर ओके सो व्हाट शुड बी द कॉमन फैक्टर फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स फर्स्ट शुड बी एक्स just look closely there would be a common factor among the coefficients also mr sarthak can you see the common factor two have you understood what i have said yes so 4x square 6xy so i have done i have taken the right common factor outside the common factor is 2x and then just repeat this 2x plus 3y would be repeated here in all these equations this is repeated here and all that you need to decide is what to write here what should i write here mr sarthak plus 6 i'm sorry plus 6 Plus uh, plus three, Mr. Sarthak. Why? Three to the six, and three three the nine. But there is a y which is missing. So I'll write three y. Mr. Sarthak, is it making sense or not? Yes, sir. What should I do next? We have to find the common factor uh, between the two terms. So it will be two two x plus y. This. Will always be the common factor. If this term two x plus three y, when you try to write it here and it doesn't make any sense, then you have done some some mistake that you have done. But if you are, you know, on the right track, two x plus three y, two x plus three y would always come common. And I am left with two x plus three y. Mr. Sarthak, is it making sense? Yes. And this can be written as two x plus three y whole square. Any doubt, Mr. Sarthak? No, sir. So these are uh, bit tricky questions, in which you know, for example, in H also, what you will find is that uh, splitting the middle term. and finding the two numbers which will split the middle term becomes a bit tricky